Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are going to learn one of the Java interview question, right? Java program to count vowels in the given state. So if suppose give an input something like this way, right? It should count only the vowels in the string. Then it should return a file. So one, two, three, four, and five. Right. So only it should count the vowels. And it should return a vowels only, the count of the vowels. So let's uh, start write a program and we'll understand how we have to going to work. So first we have to initialize the variable called str equal to let's say learning java. So now get vowels from the string and count. So create a one more variable vowels equal to. So what is the vowels we are going to add? A V I O U. So now get one by one character from the string and check with the vowels. If it is match, then increase the count. So we can get one by one character from the string. So using that iterations, we can do that. You can use for loop to iterate over each character of a string. So I'll go with the for loop. So for in i equal to zero, i less than length of the string, str dot length. Then i plus plus. So just we are incrementing. Now, now start the counter to track the number of vowels. So for that I can say in count equal to count equal to zero. So we'll start from a zero. Now see I take over each character in the input string str. Right? Each iteration we check whether the current character is in the vowel string. So using index of method. So index of function is a method provided by the string class. So and it is used to find and return the index of the position. Right? Index of the position means suppose if I am taking this character, right? L. It is go and check over here whether this is the in which position the L is located over in this string. Here in the L is not there in the string, so it is going to return you the minus one. If suppose if I go with the next character E, E is the position of the one, right? The position means this from the zero to it's going to start, right? So zero, one, two, three, four. So now it's going to check a A. A is in the position of a zero. Same way E is position of the one. R is position, there is no R over here. So it's going to return a minus one. So now what we need to understand, if it is the index doesn't, the index of method doesn't return a minus one. It means that character is a vowel. So we increment the counter. So we, what we have to do, we'll go with the condition if vowels dot index of method equal index of method. Here it is asking a character. So character is str dot character at. So this is what our first character. The zeroth index character is going to come over here. Now we need to say it should not be not equal to minus one. Then if it is not equal to minus one, I'm saying count plus plus. Count we have to increment. So now, okay. So now after iterating through all the character of the string, return the counter which hold the number of vowels in the string. Finally, we can print the count. Right? So we can print, I say, can print total vowels in the given string. In the string plus count. Wait, we need to add a count. So now let me run this. Now let me run this. So now it should return a 5. The total it's returning a 5. Suppose if I make it as a one more u, right? So now it should return a 6. It's returning a 6. But suppose here 
suppose if I added a A is a, uh, you know, uppercase, right? This A also uppercase. If I try to add this way, what happened? It's not going to count. It's returning only 4. Why? Because Java is a case sensitive, right? So Java is a case sensitive. So we have to make it as if you want to count both lowercase and uppercase, right? So what we have to do, we need to add here also a b i o u in the uppercase as well. Right? If you want to count both lowercase and uppercase, what we have to do, we need to add lowercase and uppercase as well. So now let me run this. So now it's going to count the bubble string. Actually, total count is 6. Right? Both uppercase and lowercase vowels are recognized and counted. I hope this is clear. 